Good morning! So today, I have two beamers, which are disgustingly unofficial in this game for some reason. They use a bunch of electricity. I feel like I'm killing polar bears while driving this, because it uses so much electricity. And that's why I decided to kill more polar bears by doing a range test on this thing. We have three tests, a normal driving test, a normal cruising test, and a special test you should stick around for because it's pretty relatable. But before we start, I want to talk about aerodynamics, which is really important for efficiency. If you want to save fuel, save electricity, and save air. This thing has a drag coefficient of 0.28, which is pretty decent for a family sedan. Well, not a sedan, but it's a tiny, you know, car, which is pretty decent, I guess. Aerodynamics basically works how fast you can control the air. Imagine you have a flipping fish, a long fish, and you have a brick. What would cut through the air faster? Of course the fish, it's longer, it's slippier, it's pointier. But if you have a G-Wagon, also known as a brick, it wouldn't cut through the air faster. Of course, it's a brick, yes. But comparing with the 1M, it has a few differences, like the spoiler, the 1M is way wider, and blah blah blah. It's way less efficient on aerodynamics-wise. And yes, for a fact, this thing is worse than the Nissan Leaf, which is pretty bad. But now, let's start with the actual cruise test. Now, like I said, we can start with the cruising test. I'll be driving at 55, or well, cruising at 55, constantly, without stopping, and we'll see how fast we'll drain. Also, this thing is really slow. Like, really slow. I don't like it at all. But, I'll suffer through the pain for some subscribers. So, if you want to help me go through pain and make me money and you will not get anything, subscribe. So, yeah. Are you approaching bulk? I'm literally 10% down, or well, almost 10% down, and it has been even 30 seconds. So, this is gonna be very interesting to see how this thing can handle these roads and handle the air because aerodynamics. I'm halfway down the highway, or well, almost halfway down the highway, and I'm at 12.5% down on fuel or electricity um this will be very painful now let's see how we'll continue of course understandably i didn't want to make the car slower so i turned on my f1 instincts and I let it rip and at the end I still slowed down so yeah So when I see the roundabout, I was already 40% down and I only have driven once up and down the highway. So if you do the calculations, I should be good for another 2.5 times up and down the highway. So this thing is not efficient at all. But keep on sticking around for the last test, which is um, pretty interesting. So here, I just tried to be a special child and I just drove down because I didn't feel like activating my F1 instincts again. So I just drove down and what happened was pretty expected. Uh, you'll probably already guess so. But one thing I really like about this car is that it's pretty zippy around corners. It's based off the E82, which is already a good platform because it's pretty, it has a good center of mass. So, you know, you can throw it around pretty well and... After a painful 7 minute and 
36 seconds, the car ran out of electricity and I pulled over. Hello. Like I said, this thing lasted 7 minutes and 36 seconds, which is really bad. I mean, 7 minutes and 36 seconds is not a lot. So overall, just by cruising, not even flooring it, we have gotten 7 minutes and 36 seconds. I, I can't talk. 7 minutes and 36 seconds, which is, like I said, really bad. And now I don't know where I'm at, so... Now we can do the second challenge, which is the regular driving, what you would do in a roleplay server, stopping for red lights, you know, pulling over, using your turn signals, regular. But for this round or challenge, my son tried to join in, and hello Josh, if you're watching this, I hate you. Now I will stop talking too much, maybe I'm annoying, I don't know. And you can just sit back and relax and few the polar bears getting killed, so yeah. You can see me here going over 55, which is a realistic because I think no one on this planet would actually drive 55 in a back road. So sometimes in life, you just have to, you know, tap the throttle and just have fun. So, well, in this case, I didn't have fun. It was. So three minutes and 30 seconds in, we already are at 50%. I didn't expect it from this thing, but it actually has great brakes, which is surprising. Because it is an electric car at the end of the day, and it's fat, so I'm pretty surprised it actually brakes pretty decently. I was talking to my son and I was thinking about when we pulled into 6000, this thing is probably going to die. But surprisingly, it didn't. It's only in the danger zone or the red zone, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, it kept down driving, surprisingly, so... So when entering the back roads again, I decided to floor it because I want to have fun. And for some reason, this thing actually was quick for some reason now. It went pretty fast from 40 to 70. But then this happened, which was, I guess, cool. It just died on me, so... I'm just next to the rapid wash and I don't know what to do, so... Surprisingly, this thing was way efficient in this challenge. It lasted 30 more seconds. It did it in 8 minutes and 2 seconds, which is more like 30 seconds more than the last round. But I think it's because I braked a lot, you know, I slowed down a bit, but I also did floor in the 7, like I did a 70 ish two times. So yeah, it's pretty interesting. It's probably because I stopped a lot and I slowed down for the stop signs and stopped for the red lights. And yeah, that's probably it. So for the last test, imagine you just ate a beautiful Taco Bell burrito. You're sitting at the park, having a beautiful day, the sun is shining, the birds are birding, and all of a sudden, you get this feeling. You have to take the biggest dump in your life. And there is no toilets, and the only way you can go to your house is by driving your stupid, inefficient, disgusting E82. You have two choices dump in the bushes and possibly get bitten by a poisonous spider or option b drive home which is a hundred miles away so you decide to drive 100 miles away and take a dump at your house because you don't want to die i immediately started flooring it because that what well, that's what you would do in a real life scenario when you have to take a massive dump and this thing actually picked up speed slowly but decently 
like I said, it takes corners really well. And look at the brakes. I just tap it slightly and I'm perfectly into the corner. And yes, pretty disappointingly, this one, this thing only goes 82 miles per hour, but it being an electric vehicle, I'm not surprised. They're pretty slow. I can understand. But I didn't only want to drive on the highway. I wanted to go full Lewis Hamilton mode, rip every single corner inside of the exit, outside of the exit, whatever you want to call it. But then I drove into the wrong neighborhood. I had to do a little spin around. Already here, we're really low. I think we were at, we we're, what's it called? 25-ish percent down, which is pretty bad. That means we have 75% more electricity to go. The real draining part only started when I was driving on the highway or like any on straights. Because that was just flooring it, it was doing 82 miles per hour and that's when the car uses the most amount of electricity. And yeah, as you guys can see, it was not good. At this point, I was already like, I don't know, maybe 30, 35%-ish down, which is pretty bad. And I was only like, I don't know, 1 minute and 30 seconds in. So yeah, pretty bad. At this point, when I was just approaching the roundabout, I was already under 50% down. Probably around 40-ish percent. I was pretty bad. On this part, I did experience some understeer, but it's electric car, so I can understand. But I still took the corner at 64 miles per hour without hitting the sign. So yeah, it's pretty fast responding. So around here, the thing happened, this, this thing just died out, didn't have any, any more electricity, and yeah, it was pretty expected, so. So this thing did it in 4 minutes and 36 seconds. If you ask me, I would buy this car again, absolutely. That, this thing is actually disgusting and I don't like it, but it's fun. It's fun to do tiny challenges in. I also feel like tiny races because it's fat, undersure sometimes, but it handles also sometimes great. It just depends how the car is feeling at the moment. But overall, this thing is a fun, disgusting vehicle, which I like. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.